and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum Poppy. I wanted to play some Braum today and as y'all know Braum's like my favorite champion. I really do enjoy playing Braum decks. There's lots and lots of champions that we could pair Braum with and everything. It's not just like we need Poppy for Braum. Um, but I, I was kind of looking through and realized that I had I've never played Braum and Poppy together in Demacia. We did once before in a uh, in a Bandle City version, but not a Demacia version where we can uh, pair those up with other challengers because we've kind of learned that Poppy with challengers is really nice buffing up the different challengers. Um, and so, yeah, I, that's what I want to go with. You know, Poppy can buff Braum each time it attacks and Braum's already an 06 to begin with. Now we can make, you know, Poppy can make it a 1-7 and, you know, next attack a 2-8, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing, you know, pair those together with different uh, challengers and everything. We're going to have troll, a couple copies of Troll Gifts in here for the Braum. Try to make Braum a 2-8 immediately. <laughs> it's so huge. Kind of the only thing that I'm really worried about is like dragons and well, just Targon decks in general. Like, you know, really insult we can't ever beat, but no no way ever beats a really insult. But anyway, uh just like dragons, because Shivana, uh, you know, now with like the the round three ruined dragon guard into Shivana killing, you know, slaying the uh the dragon fodder card. You know, drag, you know, Shivana can get super big, super fast, and then you have, like, you know, your concerted strikes and single combats and stuff like that. And that's how Braum can die. Um, but besides that, if we play against any kind of, like, aggro deck or any kind of smaller unit deck, I think that we could do awesome with Poppy and Braum together. And so that's what I wanted to try. We also have good protection for Poppy, right? We have not only Sharp Sight for Poppy, but also Troll Chant. So, like, we can attack with Poppy, ha keep Poppy alive with both of those, even a Ranger's Resolve. I'm going with a couple copies of Three Sisters, basically because of dragons, how big dragons are. You know, maybe we need some Flash Freeze or Fury of the North action there. Uh, so we're going to try that. Also, that's why I'm playing Iceville Archer, you know, like where we can use that to help protect our attackers, like attacking Poppy. We have some Golden Ages to give us some rallies so we can get more attacks with Poppy, because that's kind of like the, the goal of our deck is going to be, like, that's how we're going to win, is Poppy leveling up. And then just for some other top end, uh, maybe against you know, Shadow Isles decks and, or just, you know, other things if we don't have our two champions. Like, we're really relying on Braum and Poppy in this deck. Like, we are, yeah, like, we're relying on those for the, like, everything is, like, just support for those two champions in here. So we're really relying on those. So if, we, if we're not drawing them, something like that, we got a couple copies of Howling Abyss in here, too, to just give us a different angle of attack with some random level two champions. All right, but let's give it a try. Let's see how this does. Braum, Poppy. Could be fun. Absolutely. Feel the Rush is another good option. Definitely consider that instead of Howling Abyss because you're right. 10-10 Poppy, 10-10 Braum. That can be great. Um, absolutely. So that, that could definitely be a good option. I, I just decided to go with uh, Howling Abyss instead. Which, in this matchup, I'm happy because like they're probably going to be playing Denies. And they could deny Feel the Rush, but it's going to be difficult for them to stop a Howling Abyss. So I wanted to, look, I wanted to dig for Howling Abyss, honestly. I think that uh, this is... You know, control decks are going to be a problem. Like, w like we're built... Like, this deck would be awesome against, like, Bandle Burn and stuff like that, right? Like, small unit decks. And so I wanted to... Okay. I uh, wanted to put something that could be good against the control because we are going to struggle against removal-heavy strategies. Let's just kind of keep it going. They're plans like Shadow Assassin here. Okay, Faithful. So we'll have those trade with Faithful. We swim within the flows of magic. Yeah, troll gifts to Poppy is also just another thing that we can do if that ends up uh, working out. All right, so these are five, six Screeching Dragons, which is kind of the problem with that is we don't get the, the buff on them with the Poppy. I could kind of see just attacking here. I think I'm just going to attack. So I'm thinking, like, if I Screeching Dragon, they, they like, wait till after combat to play a champion. Like, they want to play a champion here. Or, like, they play Lux. Lux has a barrier. And so, like, we don't even get to kill it anyway. Okay. So I was thinking like post combat play this this Water keeper's changes, verdict never breaks. on a champion. 
We'll still have that open for this round. If they play Champion, we play Keeper's Verdict. If they don't, we play Howling Abyss. Okay, so they pass. So is it possible that I should just play Howling Abyss anyway? So I play Abyss, and then they get to play Karma or Lux. Yeah. Chat says pass. They thought for too long. So they definitely have a champion, right? They want to play a champion. They want me to play something else, and then they get to play a champion. That's what they want. Can we still handle it? Like, is it still kind of good for us? If we Howling Abyss. Because obviously we'll have Screeching Dragon Keeper. Challenge. We'll have Keeper's Verdict next round. I don't know. This could be helping them out. I kind of feel like maybe I should. I don't know. I kind of feel like I was supposed to play the Howling Ghost right there. Yeah, because then the Lux wouldn't have Barrier if it was Lux. Our chat was saying they liked pass attack. Okay, so they're just going to draw a whole lot of cards. But all their stuff dies. Now we know they definitely cannot play a champion, and we get a Howling Abyss in play. So we're looking good, because we, sure, they have a lot of cards, but I mean, we got a commanding board. No rallies, unfortunately. Commanding board and Howling Abyss. Very glad they did that. There we go. Poppy attack ends it. I got lucky. You'll get me next time. We're gonna be good against decks that try to block like they did in, in interaction that was damage based. That's where we're gonna be strong against. Sharpside's good against both champions. And I like Protégé against the champions. Especially Protégé Poppy. Man, this is unfortunate. I should be playing that Omen Hawk, but I can't. Because I want to play Protege on three, Poppy on four. Armed and ready. Yeah, we want to have Sharp Side available. For the block. I guess the problem with playing Poppy now is they could have, like, you know, Aftershock, Thermogenic Beam, anything like that that kills Poppy. If they do, we get to kill Teemo. All right, team. All right. Adventure time. I'm in there. Okay. Oh, I've always been a fun guy. Why are you attacking Omen Hawk? I don't know. Deal two damage to that? Okay, I guess that makes sense. Oh, right, because we need... Yeah, because we need Poppy to attack with an ally. I knew there was some reason why my brain went to do that immediately. We need Poppy to attack with. The sheep tells me all I need. Got a mushroom with your name on it. Mushroom is best with strong cheese. Okay. Attacking. We should be friends. <laughs> what a mushroom. 
troll me though. So we'll use troll chance. I kind of want to save the omen hawk. No, we'll just get more health on the poppy. This is kind of saying they have another Teemo in their hand. This was kind of the best case scenario for us, though, because we got to kill Teemo and we got to kill a peddler. Like, killing peddlers are... that's big time. So that also worked out very well for us. I'm going to just save spell mana for three sisters instead of playing the Vanguard Sergeant. I guess maybe I guess here I probably should have gone just two things instead of just the one. Have you met my shield? We should be friends. No hero, huh? Guess I'll finish this one. They grow up so fast. I probably should have, should have double spelled. Landmark? No, it does not get rid of a landmark. Alright, so they gotta hope I draw a ridiculous amount of puff caps. Which, I only have basically one puff cap per card. Yes, that's the best card we could find. That's not a bad one either. Yeah, that's true. Six mana Karina that could do lots and lots of damage. I've got your back. That is an option that we wouldn't want to see. Pledge yourself to the shadows. You can see the Demacian border from here. That'll be game. Alright, got him. Braum Poppy 2 and 0. Oh. So far, so good. No Targon. We win. No Targon and Dragons. It's the reason why I didn't want to play this yesterday, because I thought there was going to be lots of Dragons everywhere, and, you know, still probably that way today. The Golden Ages is awesome, but we need champions. Do we go greedy and just keep it because it's awesome, but once we find champions? Maybe. I'm kind of doing that same thing with the Troll Chant. Oh, let's, let's do that. So we're going to be vulnerable to Soraka Tom decks? Yep, absolutely. Basically, Targon as a region. As long if that's the... Targon's the nightmare. We don't want to face any Targon deck. I think I, I really think that this could be a very good deck against nine regions. The other nine regions. Which, you know, you, you take nine out of ten. Usually take being good against nine out of ten. To honor the fallen. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Prepare for battle! Is on the job. I would have played Omen Hawk last round, would have had five four poppy. I found a home among the Dragon Guard. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. Ah! This is fun, yes? Yeah, probably. 
What if I attack with the Vanguard Sergeant? Threaten right, getting three damage on Shivana. They can use like a sharp sight, kill it. Come face me. But you know, get sharp sight out of their hand. Sharp sight's really good against Braum. Cool. Well, that's good. I think this is going to be sharp sight save. Because it could be single combat. In single combat, we have Rangers Resolve. There are none like me. Your time. Show me your best. I don't know, maybe do this. The reason to do this is because it's, you know, Ranger Resolve could maybe save Poppy if they try to kill Brom. Uh, so Ranger's Resolve still exactly kill, still exactly kills the Braum. Oh no, because it levels up. So it goes to one. I was gonna like rally next round, and then I'm like, wait a minute, their life total is 12. I should probably just, ra should probably just rally right now. Okay, we actually beat dragons. How about that? We, I think we got pretty lucky. Like they didn't have the best interaction. They didn't have the best start. You know, they didn't have the best hand, but I'm very happy with that. I, I think they made some incorrect decisions as well in there, but I'm, I'll take the win. Ooh, Draven Scion. Braum could be awesome in this matchup. Potentially. Man, all these cards could be really good in this matchup. So I think I may just keep the hand. It's you know kind of slow because I'm looking at like not doing anything until Protege on three. But I Ice Hill Archer, like against stuff, could be awesome. Against like Scion. <laughs> You've had three games in a row against Hecarim Azir. <laughs> Dark Warriors is like, I've had three games in a row against Hecarim Azir. What is happening? And I'm like, good question, man. I do, I do not know. That's crazy. All right, we got three Troll Chant, three Sharp Sight. That was part of my uh, thinking of, you know, being okay with keeping this hand is because, you know, we'll have we'll bank our two spell mana Hopefully draw into a sharp side or a troll chant to kind of help out, uh, help support our champions. The wheel of war turns on. So they're giving me that challenge. Doesn't mean I have to take it. Are they planning on Mystic Shot? I mean, I guess, I guess we would trade Protege for a two-two and a Mystic Shot. I guess, right? 
Hmm. We're just drawing our, our champs. The party has arrived. Room is on the job. Let's boogie. This is where we need a troll chant or get excited. Or so sorry. They could have get excited. This is where we need a troll chant or sharp sight. Yeah, I kinda thought I kinda thought they were gonna be doing that. Take heart. I mean, we never found any protection. I don't love throwing Poppy in front of Get Excited. Oh, I don't love it. But we do have the backup Poppy. And you never know. Maybe they don't have Get Excited, right? I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Maybe they don't. Ooh, maybe they don't. Harry, repost. You are toast. Pardon me, fair. Tell me, I tell ya. What's my name? Draven. I think they're definitely playing some kind of removal spell here, and so I'm just saving the take heart to see which one they're playing. But maybe not. Alright, maybe not. Cool, cool. That's a good draw. So we have enough mana for everything. Yeah, we are in trouble if they have burn spells, I guess. Sure you wanna do this? <sighs> yeah, I guess we're in trouble. Like, I want to troll gifts the Braum to just get this thing out of here. Man, I don't know. The thing about this, like, if they use Burn Spell... Oh, it's Flock? That's the worst case scenario. I was gonna say, if they have... If they have at least if they're using Mystic Shot or Get Excited, they're not hitting my Nexus. Oh, but Flock is the worst case scenario. Ugh. Alright, so nine. My shield is my son. You met my shield? Want them to have all units, no spells, and no scions, and just all other units, but it's not looking like it's looking like it's just scion and spells. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Yeah, looking like it's just scion and spells. Now, Braum, Braum, just normal Braum Challenge Ranger's Resolve isn't very good when they're sitting there sitting with the spinning axes. But it's the same thing here of, 
you know, Braum can block Resolve, you know, now, you know, 10 power Resolve. Okay, Sharp Sight could help. It's important to get the Ice Fail Archer in play because if, if this if they had another Scion, Scion's champion spell, yeah, I didn't want that to be taken out, Braum. This is trouble. I still have two spinning axes? Come out and die! Because just one spinning axe discarding another makes that 11. Stand behind Brom. Because the Scion returned. Yeah, this is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. It's too bad. I definitely think there's something I could have done better. I think that I shouldn't have used the Golden Ages when I did. That Ravenous Flock was a killer. But I think just the, the round before that, I don't, I don't remember exactly how it went. I'd have to go back and look at it, but I definitely think I messed up the round before that. I think I needed to have Protégé challenge Draven instead of Braum challenge Draven. I think that was a mistake I made. Yep, that's that's the thing. They've, they've had too many spinning axes. So I, I made mistakes here. I made mistakes. And and yeah, we can sharp sight, we save we save Braum, but then they get Scion returned and the game's over. So we can't do that. I made mistakes. Sorry, hero. That's what happens when you lose. But you live, you learn. I need to play a little bit slower. I made some of those decisions too fast. Alright, very poor hand. We'll just keep one protector, I guess, as a blocker. But this is not ideal at all. Could keep troll chant. I that was the thing, like one troll chant or one sharp sight would have made a big difference in that game too. <laughs> oh man. This is our worst hand by far. Braum could maybe save us. The Braum was a good draw. I've got your back. No closer. That only does just trade. I can't wait to see what this one does. All right, so we're at 14. Mm. How can Brom help? This requires my largest official hat. All right, so our best draw now is Golden Ages. Also, um, it's that basically kind of like our our spells are like our best draws now. Golden Ages, uh, Three Sisters, because we need to stop them from. Uh, I'll stop you. Stand behind Brock. No closer. I guess I should be killing Bandle City Mayor, not the fearsome, probably. Break their spirit. 
Anyway, we need to stop them from Noxion Fervor, and so that's why the three sisters could be a good draw. I'm, I'm sorry, sometimes, like, whenever I'm thinking and playing and everything, like, I start a sentence. I have a really bad habit of that. It's like, start a sentence, and then I'm like, oh, I gotta do all this stuff. And then, for, you know, forget to finish my sentence. Today's the day I find that hero. What wondrous discovery is awake below? Show me your best. Get rid of the impact. Because the only way that we lose this is them having 12 points of burn. Oh, I forgot to challenge with you. Whoops. I was just focused on that and I just said okay. Whoops. I guess I should probably keep an overwhelmed thing alive. I'm not using Troll Chant because of impact cards. You know, like as we saw there that last round, I want to be able to take out power from impact cards. If we draw Golden Ages, we will probably be golden. At least that's not a burn spell that kills me. So that's good. For the Empire. A chill in the air. So if they have double fervor, we lose. If they don't, we win. Probably could have done something better against double fervor than what I did. Please don't. Just have one. They have two fervors. That's great. Yeah, they just had 12 points of nexus damage. You know, like, they didn't do basically any attacking and hitting my nexus. You know, like with basically no damage hitting my nexus, they just had all sorts of, of burns. Course we are still friends. So I think that's going to be a good matchup for us most of the time. I think they have to have things work out really well for them, like it, they did in that game. Um, you know, having the attack token round one, and then having uh, you know enough burn to handle most all of my nexus, because we're gonna we just block so well and um, are going to be able to finish it out. But, you know, like, one Golden Ages, we win that. One Three Sisters, we win that, right? Like, if we have either of those cards beforehand, obviously we drew gold, Golden Sisters, or Golden Ages the very last draw, but it was too late then. If we have either of those, we can kill them before they can kill us. So all we needed was just one of those, and we needed um, them not to have exactly Fervor, Fervor, Decimate. That was the only combination that could win them the game. All right, so we only went 3-2, and two, but really not far away from a 5-0. I think if I would have played better against Draven Scion, and if we didn't have that exact sequence of cards, that was the only way, you know, the, the only sequence of cards that could happen after, after the, you know, after round 4, basically, um, especially after round 5. After round 5, that was the only sequence that could happen, was, was me not drawing Golden Ages on 5 or 6, and them having that specific combination of cards. But it happens. So, uh, yeah, Braum Poppy could have definitely been 5-0. You know, I, I was I was impressed with how we were able to win the Shivana matchup. Now, I don't think see like that's that's the thing. Like we we did defeat Shivana. We had a good hand, and they didn't have that good of a hand, and so we were able to win that matchup. But I think that's going to be the matchup that you'll struggle with more often than the uh, Ziggs deck. But you know, sometimes you win the Shivana and you lose the Ziggs matchup. Right? Evens out in the end. All right, so three and two, good record. I was impressed with it. I I wasn't sure exactly what to expect because, you know, we just built it today. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, but I think it worked really well. I think Poppy and Braum worked really well together. I was I was happy with that. Golden Ages is really good with Poppy, you know, giving you that extra attack with Poppy and giving Poppy the barrier. 
But it's not as good with Braum, because Braum, you don't actually want Braum to have barriers, because then Braum doesn't survive any damage. So, like, if, if you're thinking about that kind of rally, Relentless Pursuit actually ha is now better with Braum, because, you know, Braum wants that plus one, plus one, for sure. And so that's, that's the kind of thing that, like, you know, <laughs> we almost played Relentless Pursuit in here, but decided to get some Howling Abysses in instead. But that's a, you know, nice little um, card for Braum. Vanguard Sergeant was kind of whatever. I could definitely see playing, you know, something else instead of the Vanguard Sergeant. Maybe another Three Sisters. Uh, just get another one of those in there or a Repost or, you know, something like that. Um, but, you know, some of those matchups, you know, those matchups that we're losing, like, you know, against Scion, we needed another Three Sisters. Against um, that last one, we needed a Three Sisters. Even against, you know, like your Shravana type decks, just getting that extra Frostbite in there. So I could see, I could see getting rid of the Vanguard Sergeant for another Three Sisters. Um, all right. Anyway, that's going to be it for Braum Poppy. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, besides Sergeant, I guess, I guess maybe you keep Sergeant. Maybe you get rid of Icefield Archer, actually. Maybe just because Slow Speed Frostbite, we saw that like the Slow, slow the slow Speed Frostbite wasn't good enough because it's open attack, so you need it. So actually, maybe that's the way to go because you, you don't want to play Icefield Archer on two anyway. I could see, yeah, maybe that's the thing we do. Let's get another three sisters in there. Take out an ice fill archer. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right, but that's going to be it here for Brom Poppy. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.